Trash would like to know how do you avoid flaky tests in two minutes? Good luck, Marie. <laughs> Go. Cool. Um, so first, if you have flaky tests, isolate them and immediately fix it. If you leave them like for running for some for quite some time and you don't fix it, you start to lose its value. Um, make sure that the tests are independent as well. So when you're changing something, you know, on the data, make sure that you clear it out and that your test doesn't depend on it. Um, don't add a lot of weight so um i've seen a lot of you know code where it's doing a lot of you know sleep or browser that pause don't do that um if you can you know wait wait um reliably by like asserting that a specific network request is part of or there's a specific event that's been triggered that's much more reliable um use reliable selectors as well so i actually wrote a blog post about it because we um we started to use like custom data attributes so you can just add a custom attribute in your selector um it's really easy to do if you don't know how to do it you know ask your developers to do it um and speak to your team as well ask for their inputs don't suffer alone uh if the tests are failing like ask for help if you sort of you know tried a lot of different ways because it could be that it's an actual issue with the application and you need you need to you know improve the testability instead so make sure you ask the team for help